Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm really really excited for today's video because we are trying out a new format which is going into the fitting rooms and since I know a lot of people don't like going to the shops anymore and they prefer to online shop but they still wanna you know see how the clothes are so I'm gonna be your guinea pig and gonna try clothes in the dressing rooms but hopefully it will be worth it for you to see kind of what the stores look like what the clothes look like and uh, whether or not uh, i would recommend going there or not i am 176 centimeters tall or roughly uh, five foot eight uh, so of course with uh, you know being a tall girl comes um, some difficulties and uh, I hope that I can show you a little bit of my perspective. Today I went to Bershka, which is a store that I have to say honestly I never shop at and uh, I don't know, I just feel like I don't fit into the age category anymore. I am almost 30, so I'm a true millennial and I feel like Bershka is very, very much like a Gen Z store from the style, from the prices, from the quality. Uh, but I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to take myself something where I normally don't go uh, To see maybe you know my opinion is wrong, but yeah without further ado I think let's just go to the dressing room. Let's see what I found All right, so here we are at the store and I have to say visually the store looked really really good Of course it helped that I went in the middle of the day, so it was not really crowded but as I expected the styles were very much Gen Z like and you know very youthful looking um, but I like that the store was organized you know it was not too chaotic it was easy to find everything and overall I got a good first feeling coming in which is always a good thing and now let's see what I actually tried on so first off I saw right in the entrance this leopard skirt and I thought it looks really cool so I jumped and took that one and then I got a basic black tee to match because I felt like that skirt was already so much. So let's see how it looks on. So here we have it on and on the first look it doesn't look too bad. But the fit is just totally, totally off and I'm really not feeling confident. Uh, the skirt on the waist the, is too loose. It doesn't really fit me well. But then on the tights and like my ass it's just way too tight. Uh, the slit I also feel like it's a little bit too like high up. And overall, I don't know. I like the idea of it, but it's just not fitting quite right. On the t-shirt, the other hand, I mean, it's a t-shirt, so there's not much that can go wrong. I like the fit, I like the ruffles, and I like the outfit if the fit would be better. And overall, I would say if you have a different body type than me, then maybe it would look okay. But yeah, with my curves and my like little... Uh, <laughs> body it just doesn't fit and yeah it's quite a pity because actually it would look quite cool so let's move on to the next outfit so next outfit i chose this baggy pair of jeans and i quite like the wash it's kind of like a little bit brownish and used look which uh, would look quite cool but i don't normally gravitate towards a baggy look so it's interesting and to top it uh, off with a shirt i took this basic white one but it's uh, with some ruffles and knitted and i thought that would look cool together but when i put it on i was quite disappointed because the jeans were just not fitting right again at the waist they were way too big Although at my thighs they were fitting perfectly and they didn't really look baggy enough in my opinion So it kind of just looked weird and off and uh, of course not high-waisted enough for my taste And the shirt as well was not very flattering Of course I should have worn maybe a different color bra underneath but yeah, I was not feeling myself and uh, I don't know it just was too fluffed up and too weird looking so not for me unfortunately but again i quite like the idea so maybe for a body that is more adolescent that is younger that doesn't have as many curves as i do it would look better on but uh, yeah for me unfortunately it is a no so let's move on to the next outfit Next, I chose to go with this dress because I felt like it would be feminine. It's strapless, so quite cute for the springtime. And uh, yeah, I just like the idea, although straps can be totally off as well sometimes. But I was curious to try it on, so let's see how it is on me. 
and uh, unfortunately even with this one I did not feel myself in it I think it was not really flattering um, the strapless part was not too bad but it didn't have any like anything holding it up so I feel like I would always be tugging it up and uh, yeah it was super tight so you could really see like every single curve and every like imperfection which is totally okay but um, yeah somehow I felt like the stripes were not flattering they were making me wider instead of you know feel making me feel good and yeah as I said I would be pulling it up all day long it just doesn't didn't feel like it would hold after three steps so unfortunately again this was also a no although I think it could be better on someone else then next I chose this red dress and I thought this looked really feminine and really beautiful and it could work for casual and for a special occasion so I was really curious to try this one on and I was really hoping that this would be it and uh, as you can see when I put it on it is not too bad uh, but you could see like every bump and crack and you could see like all the underwear lines i really like this square neckline i thought it was very beautiful and uh, overall the length was nice as well but here you can really see the underwear lines so if you wear it with shapewear i think it could work and uh, as i said it looks good with white sneakers it looks good with uh, some heels if you want to dress it up and i thought this was a really nice option so if you're on a lookout for a red dress um, I think it would look beautiful spring, summer, actually any time of the year. And last but not least, I chose this t-shirt, but it's Gossip Girl, and sorry, who doesn't like Gossip Girl, especially my fellow millennials? So I was really curious to try this one on, and since I didn't have anything to pair it with, I just put it on top of the white dress, and uh, I had the size large, so it was of course a little bit big, but uh, I like oversized t-shirts and if you style them and if you like kind of tie them up I think it looks really cute even with this dress actually as like a skirt I thought it fit perfectly with some red elements on the t-shirt red dress and uh, yeah overall really cute and uh, again iconic gossip girl I want to rewatch it so if you need a t-shirt I can definitely recommend it it looks cute it looks good and uh, with this we have reached the end of the try-on portion, so let's see my final thoughts. Alright, so this was my experience in the store, as you saw. Uh, a lot of hits and misses, and uh, overall I don't think I will continue shopping at Bershka. I think uh, I was right in my beginning assumption that it is more for Gen Z or more for like a younger generation. And uh, yeah, there are other stores that fit my style and kind of my expectations of quality better. Uh, but maybe it was just this one more exper one time experience, who knows. And uh, if you like shopping at Bershka, of course, let me know. I would be curious to know what you think of it. And uh, let me know down in the comments as well what other shops you would like me to visit. I'm open to go pretty much anywhere that has a store in, in Munich. So I will be very happy to hear your suggestions down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video.